Record neatly fly through the Parker Solar Probe. NASA's Parker Solar Probe spacecraft brought closer it will be to the Sun at a record distance of 6.1 million kilometers and survived. During the flyby, it reached a speed of about 690,000 km per hour and was exposed to a temperature of 980 degrees Celsius. On December 24, Parker Solar Probe flew just 6.11 million miles from the surface of the Sun, approaching our star to the smallest distance in history. December 27, scientists managing the mission they received a signal from her that the probe survived this close encounter and it works normally. The spacecraft was launched into space in August 2018 of the year. First mission to touch the sun, NASA said. An expedition towards the sun. But the touching of the star is not easy the task. Sun is a huge hot plasma ball that generates strong fields magnetic and can release the deadly lid of particles in the blink of an eye. The probe has the size of a small car and weighs just over 600 pounds. It explores the area of space that has not yet been he was being explored. The spacecraft in its mission is facing huge radiation and high temperatures. That's why its construction it was crucial that the instruments inside and the sensors have fulfilled their function. The probe and its scientific instruments are protected against extreme heat cover made of carbon foam. It was designed in this way, to survive temperatures of over 1400 degrees Celsius enough to melt steel keeping the research instruments at a comfortable temperature it's a peaceful one. The mission is named after the astrophysicist Eugene Parker. December 24, the probe survived a record-breaking close approach to the surface of the Sun. On Christmas Eve, she approached our star at just 6.1 a million kilometers. It reached a speed of about 690,000 kilometers on the an hour, which makes her the fastest spacecraft ever. Flying so close to the sun is a historic moment in the first humanity mission to the star. By studying the sun up close, we can better understand its impact on the entire solar system, including the technology we use every day on Earth and in space, as well as learn more about action stars throughout the universe that will help us in search of suitable hothering the worlds," said Nikki Fox of NASA. Parker's solar probe has faced one of the most extreme environments in space. This mission ushers in a new golden era space exploration, bringing us closer than ever to discovery the deepest mysteries of the sun, said Naur Rawafi of Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, where the probe was designed and built. During the mission, the spacecraft made seven flights next to Venus to be in the right orbit close enough to investigating the mysterious processes taking place on the Sun and surviving. The probe will remain on this orbit to the end of the main part of the mission. Passing through the solar corona, Parker's solar probe takes measurements and collects data that will help scientists better understand how how the region becomes so hot trace the origin of the solar wind and discover how energetic particles are accelerated to huge ones the speed. These data are very important for the scientific community because it gives us another point of view, said Kelly Korek of NASA. By obtaining first-hand accounts about what is happening in the solar atmosphere, Parker's solar probe revolutionized our understanding of the sun, she added. Previous close flights have delivered scientists the groundbreaking data. April 28, 2021 Parker Solar Probe as the first vehicle made by human hand, reached the most external part of the sun's atmosphere, known as the solar corona. The vehicle is not only he survived this close encounter, but spent five hours in the area when making the first direct measurements of what is in the atmosphere of the Sun, 
giving scientists a wealth never seen before data on the heart of the solar system. The poll said it was safe, but soon it will be in a place that will allow you to send data collected during its the last flight. Next close flyby of the Sun is scheduled for March 22, 2025 and June 19, 2025. Researchers found potential antidote to toxin the from aurora. Chromocorine flies account for over 90%. All deaths caused by mushroom consumption. Still, scientists not to the end knows why the toxin in these mushrooms causes so catastrophic damage to the human body. This gap in knowledge means it is difficult to find a way to counteract poisoning. Recently, However, there has been an important Chinese researchers found a likely antidote that could save persons after consuming a killer fly armor. Scientists still do not fully know the mechanism of action dangerous toxin that contains foramic flies, loy, ammonita the fall loids. It is an organic compound called alpha adaline. Therefore, so far there was no antidote to save lives after eating this mushroom. However, in recent research from Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, China they found a compound that could block damage from fly samora toxin it's a rashman. Interestingly, it is a dye already used in medical procedures and approved for use by the US FDA as well as the European agency The Medicine. Description and results of the research appeared in the journal Nature Communications. Dragonberry flies is a fungus that occurs on of all the continents. In Europe, it is a common species that can often be found in the woods. This fungus, sometimes also called a green frogger, may spend similar to many other edible mushrooms, which is why it often occurs mistakes and even experienced mushroom pickers. The species contains a toxin called alpha ammonine, which is killer to people even in small quantities. It is enough 30 grams of mushroom, to cause serious damage to the liver, kidneys, heart, marrow, and others the organs. First symptoms such as abdominal and head pain, nausea, diarrhea, breathing difficulties occur 8 to 16 hours after the consumption of the fly zomer. Death usually occurs after two to three days, and its cause is almost always failure of the liver. Treatment involves aggressive fluid and electrolyte exchange in the patient. However, after the onset of the first symptoms, it is often too late for standard therapies, and the only rescue for the poisoned is transplant the liver. To learn the secrets of alpha adelnitinis, Scientists used the CRISPR-Ca9 genome editing technique to create a pool of human cells, from each of them had a mutation in a different gene. Then they tested which the mutations helped the cells survive the exposure to alpha amatini. They found out that cells without a functional version of an enzyme called STT3B are able to survive the encounter with a toxin. STT3B is part of the biochemical pathway that participates in attaching sugar molecules to proteins. Breaking this trail in some the way blocks the incoming of alpha aminothin into cells. The researchers then focused on finding a substance that it would block the operation of STT3B. For this purpose, they analyzed about 3,200 compounds the chemical. It turned out that there is a diagnostic substance called greenanin dosyanin ICG, that can stop a toxin. It's a dye developed by the photographic company Kodak in the 1950s, which from at that time it was used in medical imaging, for example for visualization blood vessels in the eye and blood flow in the liver. Moreover, this preparation it has been approved by the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and the European Medicines Agency, which should speed up research involving people. To check if ICG actually affects toxicity alpha aminidin, a team of researchers used human and mouse cell cultures. 
It turned out that endocyanin green actually blocked the toxin and led to recovery. In studies involving mice, only about 50% of mice treated with endocyanin greenery died of intoxication of alpha madnin, in a comparison with 90% of mice that did not provide ICG. However, the effectiveness of the substance depended on its fast the application. If ICG was used later, than 8 hours after the poisoning, then the compound he didn't help. Time can therefore be crucial when administering an antidote. More research is needed before ICG can be administered patients who have ingested alpha amarin. Scientists finally know one from the secrets of the Tarulfer flyer and are close to developing effective an antidote to poisoning with this killer mushroom.